Hey gang, welcome to Through the Mail Monday, my last one of 2019, my last one of the entire decade. Glad you're sharing it with me. Four returns today before I get to the returns. I just wanted to make a quick little video. Thank you guys for watching this year. Hope you had a great holiday. Hope you had a great Christmas. All that stuff. Hope 2020 is great for you. Uh, me and my Roomba uh, wish you nothing but success in 2020. So um, four returns today. Can't wait to show them to you guys, but I mean, I just wanted to make this quick video. Doing it from pretty far away because I just picked something on my face and it got all red. So you guys don't want to, I mean, you don't want to see this in general. So I mean, the further away, I, the further away I get, the better. So in fact, that's, that's probably my best view. So, all right, guys, let's get right to the returns. Once again, thank you for a great 2019. I can't wait for 2020. I'll be doing some more returns today. I'll be doing a complete recap of all my TTMs for 2019. Uh, that video should be here probably Tuesday or Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support, and let's get right to the returns. West Palm Beach, Florida. There it is right there, right above my hands. Get this bad boy open. Lots of players have retired to Florida, so it's always hard kind of guessing where these guys are from. This guy sent me back my request letter, and we've got a Canadian Diamond King card. We've got Jeff Reardon. Sweet. There he is in a Braves uniform. That's from my fellow Braves watcher, Bobby. And there's him in a Mets uniform, of course. And there's that sweet Diamond King card with him in the Expos uniform. Jeff Reardon, pretty interesting career, 367 career saves, World Series champion, 1987 with the Twinks, four-time All-Star, had an interesting career, and then had an interesting post-career, had some issues uh, with his family, and of course, uh, even had a armed robbery charge brought up against him, but he's got his life back together on the straight and narrow, and for a few bucks, he will sign some cards. I believe I sent him $5 and those three cards, and he sent me back three signed cards so pretty good deal thank you very much and on to the next all right guys this next one's coming from santa Ana, california anna is one of my favorite santas let's crack this open see who we've got coming back feeling some cards in here who are we gonna get it's part of the excitement it's in there i see it see him in there Taking my time. This is this is the equivalent of a slow reveal. Sorry. It's just savoring the moment. Joe Sambito. There you have it, my friends. Had an off and on career. I think he put together six years or so. Was a pretty good save guy for the Astros there for a while. Check out that signature. Very nice. Look at that 7-8 tops. Really sharp signature. Joe still got it. Had Tommy John in the mid-80s, kind of ruined his career. Tried to come back with the Mets, was terrible. Um, came back with the Red Sox and was kind of all right, but that was his last year in the bigs before he retired, hung it up. So that's Joe Sambito. Some very nice early 80s cards there. Love those Astros uniform. Anytime I get an Astros card from the early 80s or late 70s signed as a plus. There you go, guys. Modesto, California. Thank you very much, Mr. Sambito. I appreciate it. On to the next one. Here we go, guys. I'm stoked. Hope you're stoked. This is the third one. We've got four returns today. We've got Gil Garrido. Mr. Garrido. He was a utility backup infielder. Check that signature out. It looks like Morse code. How sweet is that? That is... He's all over those Gs. And there we go. Gil Garrido on the 69 rookie stars with Tom House. That Tom House is not signed, but these are. And here we go. Mr. Garrido, Mr. House. Tag team this card. Check out their signatures. Both slanted at a 45 degree angle. Same pen. Very uh, diminutive signatures. Uh, very indicative of the kind of players they were. Gil had his best season in 1970. Had a batting average of 264, 38 runs, played in 101 games. Appeared in the NLCS against the Mets while he was playing for Atlanta. All my index cards, if you guys are wondering, just go into one of my PSA return boxes. You see them all in there. 
So my, my treasure troves of index cards. Keep some neat, keep some nice. I've got a binder. They haven't made it to the binder yet, but that's where they go for now. So that's pretty much it. A horde of 69 Rookie Stars cards with Garrido and Tom House. All signed very nicely. And on to the next and the last return from Omaha, Nebraska. Let's see who we have here. Nice little flower stamp I sent on this one. And we've got uh, Rusty, Rusty Cunts. All right. So we got some 84 tops of Mr. Cunts. Nice little signature there. Uh, Rusty didn't have much of a big league career, much like Garrido. I think he played for about five or six years. Wasn't that great, but he's been a coach since 87. He's been with the Kansas City Royals since, I think, 2001. I could look that up, actually. He's been with the Royals since 2008, not even close. Uh, and he's was their first both. Uh, he was their first base coach for a while, and I think he's back to being their first base coach. You might want to make sure he's still a Royal before you send this out, and probably wait for the regular season as well. But there's the address of One Royal Way, Kansas City Royals. Thank you, Mr. Cunts. Awesome signature, awesome returns. I really appreciate it. I wish I had more variety of cards to send you, but I really. Didn't. Randomly, here's a picture of Paul Canerico, Chris Getz, and Rusty Cunts. And that's all I've got for you today, guys. A nice little haul this week. My final TTMM of 2019. I bet you guys are pretty sick of hearing about the fact that 2019 is coming to a close. And life gets back to normal next week. This, of course, is the New Year's week. I hope you guys have a safe holiday. Don't do anything crazy. Don't burn anything down. Watch out for the pots and pans outside. Some people have PTSD and they don't handle it very well. Pets don't handle it very well. You should just stay inside and have a nice quiet evening like me. Maybe drink a little bit of the bubbly. Open up some cards. And I've still got a rookie card explosion box. Volume 12 to open. Who knows what's in there? I'm excited just thinking about it. I just think it's my year. I might just break that uh, on Wednesday. I might be breaking that box. What better way to bring in the new decade than... Uh, searching for some rookie cards. Anyway, guys, you know how it is. It's late. It's time to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will have another year's worth of TTMs for you every single Monday. Five to six minutes of your time. Hopefully, you'll take a trip down memory lane with me to see some of these older players, some of these older cards, and hell, maybe even do it yourself. That's part of the fun. Join in. Some of those worthless comments. Send them out. Get them signed. Yeah, sure, they're still worthless, but now they're kind of cool. Thanks, guys, again, for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or the next day with my complete 2019 TTM recap.